Get up from there you lazy man, the only thing you know to do is sleep, your brothers have already gone to work, but you are here sleeping as if you're in a competition of sleeping, or are you the father of Tsitsi flies, oh, you will be given a medal of sleeping, actually you will be nominated to be given a Nobel Prize, get up and make yourself useful. Mom, you know I don't have a job, if I wake up early, what will I be doing, that's why I have to sleep. Your reasoning is like that of a five-year-old child, your brothers too don't have a job, but they have gone to the firm to plow, but when you smell food is ready, you are the first creature at the table, consuming a lot of food like a dragon, I wonder how many stomachs you have, how will even your kids survive, because I think you will end up eating even the food of your children. Okay, I have heard you mom, I will wake up and see what I will do. I wonder where I got you from. It seems someone exchanged you at the hospital and gave me a different child. Should I do a DNA? Maybe I am feeding a son who is not mine. I will go and try asking my uncle for a job in this company in the city. My mother is not giving me peace in this house. Mom, I am traveling to the city. I want to go to Uncle Mark and ask him a job. That's good. Now you are reasoning. You need to have something you are doing. I am happy you are becoming a responsible man. And I am traveling today. Journey mercies my son, say hi to your uncle. If I get a job, my mother won't look down on me, she will start praising me like she does praise the rest of my brothers, I hope my uncle will get me a good job in this company. Good afternoon uncle. Good afternoon Peter, long time, you have grown and become a big man, have a seat. Thank you. So what brought you to the city? I came looking for a job, things are not well at the village. That's good, you came on the right time, my gateman resigned two days ago, so you will be our new gateman, you will go to that house near the gate, you will get some uniforms there, you wash them and start to work immediately. Okay uncle. What? So he saw that I am fit for a gateman job, this is not fair, I expected him to give me a job in this company. By the way Peter, you said you came to look for a job, what did you study in college? I didn't manage to go to university, I did a short course in the driving school, I can be a chauffeur or a taxi driver. That's nice, I didn't know you can drive. I can uncle, actually that's what I came here to do, not to be a gateman. Don't worry, I will help you get a job, I know a number of taxi companies, I will talk to my friends there. If you do that for me, I will be so grateful uncle. Peter, you have just been sleeping all day. Can you help in trimming the flowers? Okay auntie, I will do it. He is still sleeping, or did a tsitsi fly bite him? I am so hungry, let me go and eat. Did you do what I asked you, have you trimmed the flowers? I forgot, let me eat and I will do it before the day ends. Alright. Tomorrow I will look for someone to trim those flowers, it seems Peter is not interested. All he does best is to eat and sleep most of the time, if there was a job where people are employed to sleep, I'm sure he will love it, he will be very competent at it, every company will need him to work for them, lazy man. My wife, what do you think if I help Peter look for a job in the driving sector? I have a few friends there who can help, I can refer him. If you refer him, do you think he will do a good job? I believe he will do a good job, he said he did a short course in driving. That's the kind of job he wants to do to make a living. That's not a good idea. This Peter that has been here for these few months, the only thing that he can do best is to sleep. You think he is guarding the gate, but what he does is to sleep. He can't even trim the flowers. If the car is dirty, he can't wash it. In short, what I'm trying to say is, Peter is a lazy fellow. You know if I would have gone ahead and gave him a job, he would have disappointed me. Let him just stay at the gate. He will end up sleeping at work and cause an accident. He loves sleeping. It's one year since I came here. Uncle Mark promised me that he will look for me a job. But I don't see if he wants me to leave this job at the gate. I will have to leave and go back home. For how long will I be standing here at the gate? Opening the gate for them every day. I think they want to use me. They complain that I sleep a lot. Who doesn't like to sleep? What is the problem with someone enjoying his sleep? Am I causing anyone pain while I sleep? Who bothers them when they sleep? It's better I go back to the village. Uncle, since I can't get another job, I have decided to go back home and do other things with my savings. It's okay, 
When do you want to travel? Next weekend. I will give you shopping you take to your mother. Let me just go home and look for another job. It seems like Uncle Mark never wanted to help me look for a job, but it is well. They think I can't get someone to help if they don't want. They want me to remain their servant forever. I know my worth oh, I am not going to allow it. Asking each time if Tsitsi flies by me. Why don't they look for those Tsitsi flies and ask them, am I the one keeping them? They should stop bothering my life. You are back my son, you have come to visit us. Yes mom, I am back. These shopping is for you. Uncle Mark told me to give them to you. I am so grateful, I will call and thank him. Peter left the city to come home and sleep. What's wrong with this boy, with this kind of behavior? Will he ever marry? Which woman is going to accept such kind of man? He will not be even in a position to provide. These are the kinds of men who marry older women to provide for them. Looking for sugar mummies who have money. Looking for shortcuts in life. I wonder where he got his genes from. His father was a very hardworking man. Why did you leave your job Peter? Job. You call being a gateman a job. I was tired with staying outside the whole night with all the cold. I don't want to die. I'm still young. Or you want me to die? I see no one loves me in this house. What do I have that you want me to die? So that you can take it? I have nothing goo. Or is it my share of the land you want? I see you don't love me you. No one wants anything from you. All we want from you is to stop being lazy. You think with this attitude of yours. Will you find a woman that you will ever marry? No woman will accept to be married to you. You need to be hardworking. Wasting your time sleeping will not add any value to your life. Be productive. Be a man. And who said I must marry? Must I marry? You want me to marry so that you will be eating my food? I don't want to marry. A woman will be disturbing me to go and work, and then bring her the money. She should also go out there, work and bring me money, cook for me. I don't want the stress of a woman you. Wendy, look at this post. Sandra is getting married. Ah, why are people in a rush to get married these days? Sandra hasn't rushed. She is 26 I guess, you also should follow her footsteps, or I will get ahead of you. You can get ahead of me, I don't rush when it comes to matters concerning marriage, I will take things slowly. Time really flies, when to get yourself a man before you get old and no one will love you. I am still young, and who said if you get old you will not find someone to love you, my time will come, no worries. I'm so excited I'm getting married, I have been praying to God to bless me with a husband, and finally he sent John, I am so happy, I thank God for this. I am happy for you, you have got a godly man, what else could you wish for, we wish you the very best in your marriage. Wendy, next is you, after me. No, I will take my time, now I am focusing on myself and my career, I want to grow myself first, I have things I need to do before marriage. That too is a good thing, but don't forget to get yourself a man to marry you, when that man comes. Wendy, I am getting married. It's a lie Talia. It's true, I am getting married in three months time. Wow, congratulations. Time indeed flies, I am turning 30 next month, I need to start considering marriage, all my friends are married and I am the only one remaining. I also need to get married and have kids. The next relationship I will be in, I will make sure it leads to marriage. I don't know if you are truly my brother. You behave like an outsider. You keep giving our mother stress. You are the eldest in this family. You don't want to go and hustle, but you want to eat. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10, If any man should not work, he should not eat. You are even past the age of marrying, but you don't want to marry because you know marriage comes with responsibilities. I am your elder, how dare you talk to me like that. The truth always hurts, get something to do and manner up. I have to go back to the city and look for a job, even my younger siblings talk to me anyhow, because I don't have a job, I will go to the city and try my luck. I thank God I managed to get a job in this taxi company, this is the work that I always wanted to do, now I won't be lazy again. I will work hard and even marry a beautiful lady, so that I can prove to my family that they were wrong about me. My car broke down, I have to order a ride. Let's go to the town center. Okay madam. And you look stressed, what is the problem? 
Just drive, I am late for work. I didn't even take my breakfast, I was in a hurry, I am hungry, I will go to the restaurant and take my lunch. Welcome to our sweet food restaurant, you can go and sit there, I will come and take your order. There is someone sitting there. Yes, the restaurant is full, you can share the table. Hey, it's you again. Do I know you? Yes, I was your taxi driver this morning. Oh, I didn't even get to see you, I was thinking how I will take my car to the mechanic. Your car broke down. Yes, and it's giving me a headache. I'm sorry for that, it will be well, don't worry, you can have my number, if you need anything you can call me. It's not necessary, I am fine. I insist, you never know, maybe one day you might not find a taxi, you can always call me I pick you. Okay, if you say so. Hey Sandra, I came to see the baby. Have a seat. Thank you. The baby is good, thanks for passing by. Since you got married, you have been busy, we never get to hang out as we used to, but I understand, marriage life is like that, even Talia, it has been a while since I saw her. That's how life is, anyway do you have plans of getting married someday? Yes I do, if I get my mister right, I will call you to my wedding. You know I can't miss your wedding. I should start going back to my apartment. I'm happy seeing you, but it's raining, you can wait until the rain stops, then you can leave. It's late, I have to go to my house, you know tomorrow I am supposed to be at work. You can't go with the rain. Let me order a taxi. Oh no, the app is down, let me call Peter to come and pick me. Hello, will you please come and pick me? Yes sure, send me your address. I thought you were to order a taxi. The app is down, so I have called a friend to come and pick me. Okay, see you next time. Take me to my house. Okay. This rain doesn't seem to end now. Yes, I am wondering when will it stop so that I can go to my house. You can come inside you wait until it stops. Your house looks nice. Thank you. The rain is not stopping, it's raining with hailstones, and you can't drive with this kind of rain, let me prepare something warm we eat. I don't know how I will get to my house with this kind of rain. I have a servant quarter, you can sleep there, let me tell the gateman to show you there. Thank you for hosting me. You're welcome, you will take me to the office. I really like you Wendy, and I would like to take our friendship to the next level. Wait. Me and you, that can't happen, I guess you are dreaming. I am serious, I really like you Wendy, please give me a chance. Just drive. Peter wants me to be in a relationship with him, he is not even in my class, what will people think of me, no, I can't, he should look for his type. My car is ready, now I won't be able to see Peter again. Wendy hasn't called me for a ride, I'll go to her house and check up on her. Or I should just accept Peter and forget about the social class, yes, I think I will do that. Anyone home? Yes, come in. I have seen your car outside, that's the reason you haven't been calling me to take you to work. Yes, and I thought about what you asked, yes we can be in a relationship. I am really humbled, thank you so much Wendy, I love you. They thought I will not get someone younger than me to marry, they were wrong. When we get married, I like our kids to go to the best schools, you know I didn't get the chance to study in a good school. I would love that, and if you want them to go to good schools, you will have to work hard and maybe open your own taxi company. That will need a lot of money, but I will think about it. Finally I am married, I am so happy about opening the company I told you. I am still thinking about it. It's a good idea, but I haven't saved enough. I hope now that Peter is married, he will be a responsible husband and stop his habit of sleeping too much. My husband, the rent is due. You need to pay it. Right now I am really down. Can you please pay the now refund you? It's okay. No need to refund. Make sure you remember to pay next month. I will. My husband, 
Are you not going to work today? My car broke down. The company is taking care of it. By next week I will resume work. What about the rent? Do you have the rent money? You know the car that used to make me money has broken down, so I don't have anything. I will make it up for you. You can also pay this month. I don't know if I wouldn't have this work what we could have done. I thought you said you will resume work this week. Yes, but I got fired. What? So you are fired and you are seated comfortably watching the TV? Are you okay? Get up and go look for another job. The news of being fired shocked me. Let me relax. Then tomorrow I'll go look for a job. Peter is so lazy. He doesn't want to be a responsible husband. Imagine ever since we got married, I am the one doing everything in the house, from rent money, buying groceries, and everything, he rarely contributes. That's serious, how can a man be lazy like that, and he is comfortable about the situation? I don't understand him at all, this Peter is giving me stress, I am tired with his attitude, imagine he wakes up late, then goes to the nearby carpenter shop to just talk with those men who are working there. He is not even ashamed that his mates are working so he can leave them. He doesn't have shame at all. Some days he is always on the TV all day, watching on my TV, a TV that I bought. Actually I am like a man in the house. I go to work and leave Peter in the house, and I pay all the bills. Your case is different. I have never heard of a lazy man like him. I am just tired with him. My lovely wife, I was thinking instead of me looking for a job in the taxi company, since you are in the corporate world, it's easy for you to get a loan. Why don't you help me we get a loan I buy my own taxi, that way, I will be getting enough cash so that I can be a responsible husband. I will be taking care of everything, I will be the one paying the bills, what do you say my beautiful wife? That is not a bad idea my husband, I am happy you have come up with an idea, I will get a loan we buy the taxi. After two years we will be done paying the loan, from there all the money we will be getting will be ours. You have already made it in life, you have seated comfortably watching news, you are watching people who are earning and you are just seated, I don't like this behavior at all, I do everything in this house, what's the need of you being here, if you don't look for a job in the next three months, you will look for where you will stay. I have tolerated your attitude for too long, I am tired, in three months I don't want to see you in my house if you don't have a job. Please lend me some money so that I can start doing my own business. Give you money, I will not waste my money again. Three years ago, I took a loan and bought you a car, where is that car now, where is it? You cannot be working and I don't see your money, I don't know if you sold the car and ate that money with maybe your mistress, if it's about money. I will not give you, you are very lazy and careless, there's no money I will give you, if you don't get a job, look for somewhere else to stay, I am not going to feed you anymore. My wife I have never had a mistress. That one no, where do you want me to go and stay if you chase me from this house, have mercy on me my wife. Wendy is serious about me moving out this time, I will call my uncle to help me with a loan, then I will refund it after a year. Uncle. I wanted to call you but I decided to come to your office. Uncle I need you to help me with a loan. I want to buy a taxi. How much are we talking about? $10,000. That's a lot of money. I don't have that kind of money. Please uncle, I promise to refund in a period of one year. I don't have it. You can go to the bank and borrow money there. $10,000 only? My uncle can't give me. My uncle is so stingy. If only I would have gone to university. I wouldn't be suffering. I would be working in an office, it's because my father died and I was unable to continue with my education, now I am struggling. My uncle today posted on social media, ah, he bought a car for his son who graduated with first class honors, this is not fair, last week I asked him for $10,000 only, and he said he doesn't have, but now he has bought a car for his son, my uncle is wicked, Wendy please come and see this. What is it? My rich uncle who I have been telling you about, last week I asked him for money $10,000 only, he told me he doesn't have that kind of money, now he has bought a car for his son who graduated with first class honors, he is so wicked. That's what you called me to see, the only person who is wicked here is you, 
You were angry, is it your money he bought a car with, eh? Second, you are not his child, why do you expect him to treat you like you are one of his sons? Wake up and be a man, our daughter was admitted in the hospital, I took care of everything as if she doesn't have a father, be a responsible father please, that's what I only ask from you. You know it's because I wasn't taken to a good school, I would have become a great man out here. Stop those excuses, stop pointing fingers and blaming other people, learn to take full responsibility, one month remaining, remember that. Proverbs 6 verse 6 to 8, go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. Let me pray for him maybe God will change him, instead of always picking a fight with him, let me take this matter to God. Almighty God, help my husband to break free from this cycle of laziness, empower him with the Holy Spirit. May the Spirit stir him into action, enabling him to fulfill your callings with vigor and enthusiasm. Grant him a renewed mind that finds pleasure in industriousness and despises the idleness that pulls him away from your plan for his life. Give him the strength and grace to overcome all forms of laziness in his life today. Take away any spirit of laziness that tries to attack him. Fill him with the passion and love for work, at home and in the workplace. Amen. The new taxi company is hiring drivers. I will go and apply. I have been lazy for long. This time I have to work. May I be punctual, diligent, passionate and willing to learn. I have recognized that laziness is not merely a bad habit but a chain that keeps me from experiencing the fullness of life you have designed for me. It is a sin that hampers my growth, help me God. My wife, please listen to me, I have realized that I have been a careless and lazy husband to you, and a bad father to our daughter, I have failed in my responsibility and I apologize to you, I have been making excuses and pointing fingers at people, now I have quit laziness, I promise you I won't be lazy again. From today I will be paying the rent, and pay for our daughter's school fee, I am a changed person. I am glad you have come to this realization, I will give you a few months and see if you have truly changed. I have never been serious like this before, I will do what I have said, God will help me. I am happy you have changed, I pray you won't go back to your old habits. I won't, in few years, I will open my own taxi company. I will be proud of you. Laziness is very common today, especially among young people. People waste their time on social media, football and other trivial things. Long hours that are supposed to be used productively are used for sleeping or useless discussions and arguments. We see this everywhere and every day. Young Christians can watch several series, movies and shows, but they start sleeping when they pick up their Bible. They can spend hours on end on social media and are get viewing centers about football but they can't study the Bible and pray for several hours. They are used to putting off what they can do now, till tomorrow. Some are even addicted to betting. They are too lazy to work so they depend on betting and gambling. These things are signs that the spirit of laziness is working over time in our society. And we need to pray against it. Proverbs 10 verse 4, Lazy hands bring poverty, but hard working hands lead to wealth. Proverbs 10 verse 26 to 27, lazy people irritate their employers, like vinegar to the teeth or smoke in the eyes. Fear of the Lord lengthens one's life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. Colossians 3 verse 23 to 24, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. The first spiritual step is to pray and ask God to help you overcome laziness. As you pray, use scripture since Bible verses are the foundation of any deliverance ministry and Christian spiritual warfare, because the word of God is the sword of the spirit that God has given us to fight with.